Hi everyone, welcome back to Rami Media. Hope you all are fine at home. Keep safe and stay at home. In the last video, I have explained about the definition of models, commonly used models with the examples. So in this video, I am going to explain about the rest of the models with examples. So those who missed the last video, please click the link given in the description box and watch the video. Then you will be getting clear idea about the models. At first, let us see the model may. We already knew that might is the past tense form of may. Here are the uses. If you want to ask permission, you can use this model may. For an example, may I come in. Next one, possibility. There will be a possibility. Then you can use the word may. He may be late for the office. Next one, doubt. The plane might be late. It is not yet confirmed. So we can use the model may. Then, if you want to give a wish to someone, you can use this model. May God bless you. Next one, purpose. We work hard so that we may get good mark. Here we mention a purpose, so we have used may. Last one, negative and interrogative form also, we can use this model. The guest may not come. What may be the result of this action? So, in this situation, we can use this model may. The next one is must. It is stronger than should. Okay. So here are the uses. First one necessity. So you must work hard to get good mark. So in order to emphasize the need, we can use this model must. Next obligation. So if you want to emphasize your duty, we can use this model. For an example, I must be punctual. It is our duty. Next one, determination. I must learn this chapter till evening. It is a determination. So in this situation, we can use this model must. Next one, certainty. Mr. Warren must be a gentleman. It's just a certainty. So in this place also, we can use the model must. The last one, prohibition. One must not catch some moving train. Okay. It's a, it's a prohibition. Here also we can use the model must. Here we can see the model ought. Ought is used in particular places like obligation, probability and instead of should. Always ought will be used with the word to or to. First one obligation. We ought to help the poor. It's our duty. Okay, In this place we will use this model ought. Next one probability. He ought to be here within an hour. So it's not sure, it's a probability. Here also we can use this model ought. The last one instead of should. So instead of should also we can use this model. For example, he should come soon. Instead of this, we can say he ought to come soon. Here we can see the model need. Uses are necessity and double and prohibition. Okay. So necessity, need. She needs to come tomorrow. In interrogative, need she come tomorrow? In this situation, we can use the model need. Next one, prohibition. Okay, double and prohibition. Need here apply again. So, in order to con uh, what in order to confirm a particular thing, we are asking again. Okay, so in this place, we can use the model need. So the reply is no, need not. Okay, so in this two situation we can use the model need the coming model is dare it is very easy to learn dare means to venture examples the boy dare not come in front of his father second one how dare you come to me third one he dare not express his opinion fourth one dare you catch a lion by its tail okay so it is used in negative and interrogative sentences. Mostly it is used in negative and interrogative sentences. And there means to venture. Okay, in this place we, we can use the word dare. The last one what I am going to explain in models is used to. The word used to. So here are the uses. Past habitual action and present habitual action. In these two situations, we can use this model used to. First one, before marriage, he used to smoke. It is a past habitual action. 
then what about present habitual action let us see the example i am used to veg food so it's a present habitual action we can say present simple okay simple present okay we can say it is a simple present action okay so in this two situation we can use the model used to okay dears so you got clear idea about models and as i already told you the link is given in the description box so click that before video and get a clear idea about definition of models and commonly used models so if you like my video please give a thumbs up and share your comments suggestion whatever in the comment box and if you are watching me for the first time then don't forget to click on the subscribe button nearby that bell icon also there enable the bell icon to get the notification whenever i post a new video thank you for watching bye